A simple act of kindness by a police officer for a little boy at a local McDonald's. It was all caught on camera. Moments later, a suicidal man shot and killed Officer Jeremy Henwood. That was two years ago. Well, today, San Diego police and that little boy got together to honor Officer Henwood. 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals the impact Henwood had on that child after their brief conversation two years ago. Two years ago, a police officer bought a 13-year-old boy some cookies at a City Heights McDonald's. Officer, it was kind of like, it's kind of cool. That's Jeremy Henwood speaking with Davion Scott on the McDonald's security video. It's the first time they met. And what you saw Officer Jeremy Henwood do was tremendous, and, and all of our officers do that. And changed my whole like mentality of officers. Wednesday, Scott spoke to 10 News from the back of a SWAT truck something he probably would not have done before this encounter. Before he met Officer Henwood, he didn't necessarily have the, the best opinion of the police officers. Because I was little then, I didn't know the whole facts, the story, like, I'm, they're killing people, oh, that's so bad, like, I don't like them. Just a few minutes after Henwood bought Scott three McDonald's cookies, a gunman shot the officer. He died a day later. I was sad and mad. Like, all like the down ones, like I was not happy at all. Scott, now a 15-year-old high schooler, joined San Diego police at the same McDonald's where he met Officer Henwood. All right, you want it for here to go. A percentage of the meal sold will go to the police's Widows and Orphans Fund. It was so much him. Henwood's father says he wasn't surprised seeing his son buy a young boy cookies. Scott says it changed his view of the police. Without the cops, man, life would be, life wouldn't even be life. And his life is better for it. In these few seconds, Henwood was able to give the boy advice he'll never forget. Chase your goals, man. Keep going after your goal. Goals that include playing in the NBA or maybe joining the police force. In City Heights, Joe Little, 10 News. The power of a chance meeting. The City Heights McDonald's on Fairmount is holding the fundraiser until 7 tonight. Last year, they raised about $5,000 for the Widows and Orphan Fund.